Good morning, my dear students. Hope you are all fine and safe at home. So, we are going to continue our lesson. We are now in the second unit. Going to start our second unit. Okay. It is telling about stories. So, unit's name itself is Tales and Tunes. Tale means, you know, that is story. Tunes and the song also there. So, here we are going to discuss some interesting stories and uh, how to write stories, how to write a perfect story. So that steps also mentioned here. So first of all, let us discuss the introductory part of this unit. March 20 is the World Storytelling Day. Ah, do you know there is a special day for storytelling? A storytelling is what a familiar thing which was done by the grandmothers to the younger or uh, small children in their dorm home in olden days. Now I think there is no such storytelling. It is decreasing. Almost all are watching animated stories in the television or mobile phone and uh, most of the grandmothers they don't know stories sometimes some grandmothers may be there at your home what is your opinion is there any grandmother who is telling stories to you in your home or nearby your home I know you like stories no doubt about that All children at any age they like stories so if there is a person to come and uh, tell story you will sit and listen it very carefully no doubt about that okay so people in our world main organizations and they encourage storytelling and for that purpose they have selected a particular day for as storytelling day and that is what march 20. stories have come down to us from our elders and books so how do the stories come to us ah yes our grandmothers they may tell stories to us or we can read books yes then stories once heard must be passed on uh, if anybody hears a story, he or she must tell the same story to another person. But in this modern world, you know, oh, we have uh, computers for recording the stories or uh, uh, writing down the stories. It will remain. But in olden days, it was not like that. There were no books or pen, nothing. But stories were there. Then, people, how did they? Without writing, without any uh, videos, how did they save these all stories? Ah, yes. Ah, these grandmothers or uh, grandfathers or people who liked stories, they hear the stories and they passed on to the next generation and uh, that next generation passed to the next generation like that so if you don't the stories and the art of storytelling will slowly disappear from the earth if you do not tell the stories to the next generation what will happen uh, that will uh, the art of storytelling will slowly disappear 
so it should not be so here some questions are there did you like to listen to stories uh, do you like uh, yes what kind of stories would you like to listen which type of stories do you like ah many types of stories are there ah uh, moral stories are there uh, in some stories uh, animals will be the main characters and uh, uh, people or kings stories related with the kings are there many are there then who tells you stories who tells you ah in some houses grandmothers may be there now we can say who tells stories means your answer may be mobile phone or television no but it is not we have to hear it directly from people okay so another question is asked whether do you tell stories yes small children will be there at your home do you tell stories to them they will ask you ah tell me a story tell me a story they will ask you so if you know stories you can tell the stories if you want to know the stories what do you want to do ah uh, you have to read books or you have to hear from ah uh, others so whatever may be ah uh, you have to get you should be able to say stories to others okay so here there is a small uh, story let's read read what wimel's grandmother has to tell him about stories here we are going to discuss about wimel and his grandmother wimel who is wimel wimel is a lucky boy why why is he a lucky boy because he has a grandmother who tells him lots of stories ah why do we call wimel as a lucky boy why because he has a grandmother ah who tells stories different stories to whom wimel that's why he is lucky every night at bed time there is a story for him ah uh, every night ah uh, at bed time grandmother will come with a story and he hears the story and uh, he will sleep what fantastic stories grandmother has told vimal oh what fantastic stories fantastic stories were told by ah yes grandmother stories of animals and birds of clever and uh, senseless people of magic and music stars and uh, sages and many more ah uh, he she uh, told him many stories what were they ah uh, stories of animals birds clever and senseless senseless means foolish people then magic and music stories of magic and music then stories of stars and uh, sages ah all the people sages then sages who prayed for a long time and uh, they will uh, they will also say stories good stories moral stories so such many stories were told by whom his grandmother one day vimal asked his grandmother if stories grew on trees ah uh, one day we may ask one question what is the question ah uh, where is the stories grow or from where do you get these stories uh, is it growing on a tree she laughed ah uh, mangoes are growing mangoes are there on trees leaves will be there but stories will not be there no then she laughed and said no not on trees then where do we get the stories from ah then he has a doubt ah from where do we get the stories i got them from my grandmother i in turn tell you vimal remember to tell your friends these stories so that they can also enjoy them ah then my grandmother said 
uh, I heard it from whom or I got it from whom? My grandmother. And in turn, I tell these stories to you. So you should say these stories to your friends. Then what? Uh, then the stories will be there here forever. That friends will say to their friends, and like that. But we must say, no, I don't want to tell them any of these stories. They are my stories, my treasure. I don't want to give them away. Ah, but was the, what was the reply of Vimal? What did he say? He said, what now? Ah, no, no, no. I won't tell these stories to anyone because they are my stories and they are my treasure. I will not share these stories with uh, any of my friends. Like that, who said? Vimal said. Then what was the reply of grandmother? Don't be silly, my boy. Stories are meant to be told. Listen and tell. That is the law of the story kingdom. His grandmother said. Ah, that time, mother, grandmother, what did she say? Ah, she didn't encourage Vimal to keep the stories as his own. She said, no, 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 it is not right. You should say the stories to whom? Ah, your friends. Why? Because there is a law in the story kingdom. What is the law in the story kingdom? That is, listen and tell. Listens to stories, whoever tells, she tells you. And uh, after hearing it, you have to tell the stories to others. And that is what the condition or law in the story kingdom. So in that way, Vimal's grandmother taught him not to keep the, those stories as his own. She told him to say the stories to others by saying that is what the laws of what that is what the main law in the story of kingdom. Okay, so that is what that small story. It is a, a small story which was appeared in the newspaper The Hindu. Okay. So uh, there is a question. What is your opinion about grandma's statement? So grandma made a comment here that what uh, there is a law in the story kingdom. You should listen story and uh, you have to tell story. What is your opinion about that? Do you agree with it or not? Uh, we all will agree, no? Yes. So that you can write down there as you are homework okay then another small one uh, story also there let's go to that stories go beyond the boundaries of time and space stories uh, we cannot say stories from Kerala or our own district Malapuram we will hear or from Kerala India like that we cannot say stories what uh, go beyond what countries Boundaries of, boundaries of time and uh, space. We hear stories from uh, thousand and uh, thousand, two thousand, three thousand years ago. Such stories also we will hear. There is no a but time limit for that. Though they led us to wisdom. So stories, it's very important. Why? Because that lead us to what? Wisdom. Can you tell a story that you have that you have heard from your grandparents, elders, friends? The question I asked you, can you say that story? Ah, if you know the story, you can say the story and you can send me. Okay. So here we are going to discuss about another story. Before going to that story, some questions are there. Have you heard of the famous storyteller Aesop? He was, have you heard about Aesop? Aesop tells, yes, he was a great, great Greek storyteller. At first, was he, he was a Greek slave who lived in 600 BC, before Christ. He lived, uh, he, he was a slave, slave means, you know, under a master's 
order he has to work not a free man okay Aesop did not in fact write the fables he told he told many stories but he did not write it down they have been orally passed on because he lived in the BC 600 BC 600 means that that time there was no paper nothing so could you write down that all stories no he couldn't so here how did the stories told by Aesop still we get how do how how did it happen you know uh, why because uh, his stories were told to the people and the same people uh, passed the same stories to whom next generation then next generation next generation in that way it come to us okay then they still live in the minds of people so Aesop's tales still live in the minds of whom people so let's read one of Aesop's fables a small story is given let me read it okay then what is mean by fable we are going to read a story means fable fable means a fable is a traditional short story that teaches a moral ah, it is a traditional story but it will teach a moral lesson especially one with animals as characters in fables most probably the characters will be animals okay so here one fable is there what is the story a rich voyager from Athens was on a voyage with uh, two companions uh, who is the main character a rich voyager from Athens he was on a voyage with whom voyage with uh, his companions companions means friends he was uh, he was uh, going with his friends from Athens Athens means one of the important cities in were Greek in the course of their voyage voyage means uh, through ship uh, by using ship if we travel means we will call it as a voyage okay so here the rich person was going were in the course of their voyage a violent storm blew up and captized the ship uh, on the way they were on the ship you know at that time now we have engineized ships even now if there is very big storm we cannot control it so here what happened here uh, this companions with whom that rich man they were going on a voyage and on the way what happened they met with an uh, storm that storm blew up and they capti capsized the ship capsized means uh, that destroyed the, that wrecked that ship and uh, that ship uh, because of that storm that uh, sank into the water the companions tried to swim ashore ah, then the ship was wrecked then the companions were there ah, they started to swim they will fall on the water no they fell on in the water and uh, they started to what ah, swim at that time what happened but the rich voyager kept calling on Athena the goddess of Athens and promised her lavish offerings if he escaped ah, all people in that ship they fell in the water including his friends and all everyone our rich voyager he was not ready to swim what was he doing now what was he doing he was uh, praying to the uh, goddess was that goddess Athena Athena means the goddess of uh, Athens so the goddess he was telling offering her what you know uh, if you save me if you help me to escape from here what can I do uh, I will give you whatever you want because he is a rich man then one of his 
were shipwrecked companions as he swam past shouted to him ah then others also heard it who also heard it ah this companions also heard what ah, he was offering to god ah goddess adina please come and help me i will give you whatever you want i will give you money because i am a rich person like that he was telling ah but his companion said what now don't leave it all to adina use your arms as well ah what was that comment made by his companion no ah don't leave it all to adina what ah use your arms well as well ah don't pray simply on pray to whom adina but but use your arms ah means you swim and then you can pray what uh, sometimes even if we swim means also there is no possibility to escape so we have to work and it should be successful or we should, he should uh, uh, save his life from 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 that sea for that what is needed uh, what is needed means he has to uh, he has to swim but without swimming he was standing there Uh, he was standing there water so his companion said that is not correct okay so that is very important thing a moral lesson it is teaching you what is that moral lesson ah uh, if you uh, want to get the uh, blessings from god you have to work simply if you uh, sit and if you uh, pray to god uh, god give me full mark in my english subject or all subjects and without reading test book you are praying means will you get that no you will not get ha uh, you have to use your arms means you have to hard work then you can pray uh, uh, if i get a uh, full mark i want the help of god i want the help of not only my work hard work i must need a uh, uh the help or the uh, blessings from god that is okay means 50 50 okay 50 percentage you was 50 percent god means if you pray uh sometimes the questions will be very easy in such a way you can expect otherwise if you sit simply and say uh i want full mark in all subjects i will but you are not ready to do anything what will happen yes that is what the moral lesson taught in this story okay so read this story very well and uh, you can write down the side question answers in this test book in the i note down into the notebook and you can send me okay thank you